Um, the next questions are coming from um, Kate Adahar, Miss Kate Adahar from Random Republica. Hi, good evening. Thank you, Rain. Uh, my first question is for Mr. M. Good evening, sir. Um, you've been known as the star maker for years. Can you describe what kind of sparkle you see in a showbiz aspirant for you to, for you to gauge if that person has the makings of a star? And curious lang din po, sino sa mga GMA artists yung nag-create na ng impression sa inyo before joining GMA then? Um, I don't know. I, I, when I look at somebody, um, if there's a, something special uh, with that somebody, you can call it a, a spark. You know, you see the sparkle. Uh, you see the spark in her. You see the it. Uh, you you see the garbo in her or, or him, um, that's the special, you know, uh, the special thing that you can't describe it. You just feel it. So, you know, unang ano, na, na feel ko. And then, of course, after a while, you get to know their, um, their work, their uh, passion for their, uh, their work, their commitment, their discipline. Um, people like this, like these eight, um, and uh, I think most of the eight, uh, yun ang mga nakilala ko kahit nung pa, right? Uh, well, besides, you know, um, besides the GMA artists like uh, si Dingdong, Dingdong Dantes and, um, and um, uh, Alden, Alden Richard, uh, they're the ones that have uh, the it. They're the ones that have sparkle. Kahit hindi sila member ng sparkle. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And for, for my second question for Bianca and Ruru, um, aside from Lolong for Ruru and Manopotu for Bianca, ano yung mga aabangan sa inyo now that you're part of, spark, of the Sparkle 8? And also, is there a chance for you two to work together? Bianca? <laughs> um... Yes, for aside from Manupo, for myself Muna, this year, um, I also have um, the series that I did with HBO, Half Road Season 3. It will be uh, premiering this year, finally, after how many years of preparing for it. And, uh, malapit na po siya matapos, very soon on HBO. And uh, I will also be doing another soap by the end of the year for GMA Canada. So, and uh, I just launched my YouTube channel pala. <laughs> Ngayon ko lang naalala. And it's a new journey for me. So, uh, another thing that I am excited about is to reintroduce myself to everyone, how I am of them. Uh, about myself working with Ru, why not? Uh, I am very open in working with anyone. Hindi naman po talaga namimili. And, uh, I believe it. 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 I believe uh, last year, so it's been parang two months na rin. Uh, tapos ngayon, uh, mag-launch ako ng new series sa uh, YouTube ko. It's called, What Are You Made Of? So basically, yung ginagawa namin doon is nag-guess ako ng iba kong co-actors or maybe uh, successful businessman or sa kung ano man bagay na naging successful siya na dumaan sa struggles, na dumaan sa hirap, na kahit na ano pang pagsubok yung pinagdaanan niya, hindi siya nag-give up. Kaya siya naging successful. So, ang goal namin doon is to, you know, inspire people. And, um, of course, yung isang katanungan na makatrabaho si Miss Bianca Umali, isang malaking karangalan po yun. Uh, alam naman po nating lahat na sobrang galing na artista na Bianca. I mean, she's very talented. Um, grabe yung pagmamahal niya sa craft niya. She's very professional. So, yun yung mga tipong tao na talagang matututo ka pagka nakatrabaho mo. So, yeah, hopefully, someday. 
Thank you and congratulations, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks, Irene. Thank you so much, Miss Kate. And now, moving on, we have Miss MJ DeLeon from Glitz. Or Mr. MJ DeLeon. Really sorry. <laughs> Ayan, Mr. MJ. Pasok. Ay, wait lang. Ayan na. Naka-unmute po ba? Medyo wala lang pong audio. Um, sige, wait lang po. <laughs> I think we're having some technical difficulties on their end. Okay, let's wait. Is it okay po we circle back to your questions? Let's just wait for the audio. Okay, cue nyo, cue nyo na lang po kami if you're ready. I think we could go for Mr. Rocky Batara first from Runner Rocky. Hello yes. po. Hello po. Yeah. First of all, congratulations for the Sparker and being the stars or eight of the stars in Sparker. So, yung first question ko, uh, para kay Sanya, Miguel, Derek, and Ruru. So, unahin ko muna siguro si, ano, si Derek. So, for, the, for them, all of you somewhat already created a mark in the showbiz industry. But in your own words, how do you leave a little spark or wherever you go? Or should we say, how do you inspire people? Para kay, ano, um, para kay Ruru. Para sa akin? Sorry? Para, ah. para kayo po? Okay, okay. Para sa iyo, para sa iya. Okay, okay. Hi, <laughs> okay, Rocky. Okay. How are you? Um, well, it's a challenge for all of us. Kami mga artista yung makapag-iwan ng kinang sa bawat manonood. You know, kasi syempre alam naman natin lahat na dito po sa industriya ng show business, mabilis papasok, mabilis din mawawala. Pero it's just that kung meron kang maitatatak sa bawat manonood. So I guess for me, um, maging ako kasi hindi ako competitive na tao. Hindi ako competitive sa mga katrabaho ko or sa kung sino man. Mas competitive ako sa sarili ko. So that para every single day, may bago ako napapakita. Every single day, nag improve ako, nagiging better ako. And uh, for me, syempre yun naman talaga yung magiging sandata natin sa lahat ng laban. Eh. I mean, ako bilang aktor, ayoko rin mag-stop matuto. So alam mo yun, hindi ako nasa stuck sa kung anong meron lang ako. Uh, gusto ko lagi ako may napapakita ang bago. And I guess, um, yun din yung yun din yung makakapagbigay inspiration hindi lamang po para dun sa mga taong manonood kundi para na rin po sa mga bagong artista na magiging parte rin po ng Sparkin yes, Thank you, Luru Para naman kay Sanya same question din How do you leave a little sparker wherever you go or how do you inspire people? Para kay Miss mm-hmm. well, Yes uh, Para sa akin kasi um, naniniwala ako na kapag mabuti kang tao maganda yung puso mo at babait ka sa lahat. Yun talaga, yun talaga yung meaning ng sparkle para sa akin eh. Kung bakit sila na-inspire sa'yo dahil mabait ka, bukod sa magaling ka, dapat yung, yung attitude rin talaga at pagiging humble din talaga. Dapat alam mo kung paano kontrolin, alam mo kung, uh, alam mong ingatan din yung mararamdaman ng ibang tao. So, yun, hindi talaga magaling lang. Hindi ka mag-sparkle dahil magaling ka lang. Sparkle ka dahil mabuti yung puso mo. Nice. Thank you, Miss Anya. So, same then with Miguel naman. How do you leave a little sparker and how do you inspire people? Ano, uh, feeling ko kasi nowadays people forget just like that. Kasi ang dami nating available information sa lahat kang tumingin, sa internet, ang dami, parang sobrang bilis ng pag-ikot ng mundo natin ngayon. But if you do it wholeheartedly, yun siguro yung tatatak sa kanila. Kung totoo ka sa intentions mo, ginawa mo yung, yung action na yun ng buo yung kalooban mo and alam mo sarili mo yung intention mo, yun yung magta-translate sa kanila, yun yung receive nila. So, yo, yun. Whatever you do, do it wholeheartedly. Nice. Thank you, Miguel. And of course, para kay Derek din, same question. How do you leave a little sparker or how do you inspire people? Para kay Derek. Mm. I agree with Sanya, Miguel, and Ruru. As in, ako kaya ko makapagbigay na example. As simple as uh, calling the person um, by his or her first name. Malaking impact sa tao yon. 
pag tinawag mo instead of just saying um like to your fan or something instead of just saying thank you sabi mo for example Christine your name thank you Christine may impact yun sa kanila ko na alam nakilala mo sila personally and isa pa pag halimbawa naglalakad ka sa mall uh, may nakita kang uh, tao smile at them yung mga ganong ganong simple ways makapag-iwan ka ng sparkle sa kanila and who knows uh, sila pa ay siguro yung makakatulong sa in the future or magiging friend friend mo in the future so yun thank you Derek and for my thank last you. question naman thank you for my last question naman para kay Mr. M hello po Sir M Hello. Hello. Uh, my question is, can you share us a little story behind the creation of Sparkle and what are the qualities of an artista you should pos- uh, they should possess to be part of your growing Sparkle team? So, uh, napag-usapan na ng mga ibang uh, artista ngayon. Mm-hmm. Uh, yung mga qualities, uh, disiplina, um, yung love for the, the profession and uh, Um, I think that I also said uh, aside from that kailangan meron na something eh, sa kanila yung spark ko you could call it a spark uh, something in them that forces them to do that forces them to be um, to love their, uh, their, 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 their profession um, and as I said Uh, these young ladies and these young men, meron sila nun. And um, when we came in to uh, GMA, we wanted to uh, revitalize uh, the artist center uh, and um, rebranding. And part of the rebranding, um, we wanted to choose a name that would uh, embody the uh, uh, that thing um, so we chose the name sparkle um, because uh, it provided us with a lot of uh, opportunities to use that word you know sparkle uh, how do you sparkle i want to uh, sparkle um, that name change um, made it uh, possible also to uh, to um, maybe uh, Uh, expect um, uh, a better uh, quality of work from these artists and so we had to um, make a, a system where we gave them uh, assistance by by way of the workshops and uh, seminars uh, so that we would be behind them and we would have their backs before They were relaunched, and uh, we expect these people, these young people, uh, to be uh, some of GMA's brightest stars in uh, in this year. So, okay, Bayan. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, po. Thank you, po, Mr. M, and thank you, po, guys. Congratulations, po. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much, Sir Rocky. And now I think we can circle back to Mr. MJ De Leon from Glitz. Hello, can you hear me now? Is this, is this, is this fine? Ayon, yeah. because everyone is looking extra sparkly kasi tonight, kaya nagakatak difficulties. But <laughs> but I will ask first, Um, I will divide my question because it's so long. So I will ask um Sanya and uh, Gabby first, the girls first. So, you know, in your projects that you've done with GMA so far, Pili lang ng isa. Where do you think you sparkled the most? Ah, oh, ang hirap. Uh, pero, first yaya yeah, yeah, sa akin. Though malaking ano po ang Encantadia, pero first yaya yeah, yeah, rin po talaga. Kasi, um, well, yun yung napil ko kasi solo lang ako dun. Eh. Doon kasi sa Encantadia namin yung nagabi apat kami. So, pili ko mas nag-sparkle ako dun sa first yaya. Yeah, yeah. Yun po. <laughs> Ayon, ayon. And then Gabi. Hi, MJ. For me, and Cantadia pa rin ako up to now because um, I was super young back then. I was the youngest of us four. So I was really naive that time. And I honestly, 
everything was so new to me na parang para akong nalagay sa isang position na I'm not comfortable in. So, I can say na I got through it and I was able to sparkle on my own after that. Ayun. Looking forward to more sparkly projects for you girls. <laughs> um, the next part of the question is maybe for the boys, for Derek and for Ruru. Derek, good morning. <laughs> question. Good morning. Um, <laughs> Alam ko kung nasan ke. So, good morning, 6 a.m. Yeah. Ata, eh. Tama ba? Yeah, 6, okay. 6 a.m. But, yeah, so your question ko is like, nung first nyong narinig, yung, you know, the, the transition to the rebranding na magkakaroon ng Sparkle, ano yung first thoughts na pumasok sa inyo? Yung first talagang naisip nyo? Uh, thank you, glitz.ph, for that question. <laughs> <laughs> um, yung pinakaunang pumasok sa isip ko talaga is, um, yung pinakaon akong ginawa. Yung nga sabi ko kanina, I was driving when I found out about um, that I'm part of Sparkle and um, I thank the Lord talaga. I, I offered a little prayer. Tapos, um, sinabi ko na parang, uh, thank you Lord for giving me this opportunity and please give me the strength to uh, to, to be able to do this para, para ma-prove ko sa, sa mga bosses sa sa mga co-actors ko that I am uh, worthy to be here and um yun I'm just really really thankful na part ako nito and um sana uh, lahat kami mag-flourish in our own ways ayon thanks Derek si Ruru naman thank you I am Jay kumusta um ano ba syempre sobrang nagulat um Siyempre, una sa lahat nung sinabi yung about sa Sparkle. Alam, alam naman natin lahat na si Mr. M and Ms. Mariol ang um, isa sa mga instruments uh, for this um, project. So, sobrang nakakataba ng puso na mapabilang dito sa group work po na ito. Kaya, I mean, for me, I just wanted to like ibigay sa, ibalik sa kanila yung tiwala na binigay nila sa amin. You know, to work harder, sa bawat ginagawa namin talagang dapat dapat ibus namin lahat kasi ang daming ang daming artista na magagaling din ang daming artista na mas pogi at mas maganda pero still kami yung napili dito so we're, we're just very thankful and um kumpara hindi namin hahayaan na mabaliw wala yung tiwala na binigay sa amin Ayon, ayon. Congratulations, congratulations, guys. Thank congratulations you. also to Kalil, Miguel, Bianca, and Isabel. Exciting oh. times, actually, to be honest. But my next question or my last question is for Mr. M. Um, uh, sir, good evening. Good evening. Uh, question, like, sir. In the age of you know social media, because may isa isang layer pa tanga yon eh, when it comes to popularity. So in the age of social media, how do you think the formula for creating a star changed? How, how did it change? Yes, um, sir. I, I don't think uh, it changed. Um, I think the, the process of uh, finding a star, uh, the formula, as you said, uh, even uh, in the age of social media, um, we still don't know now whether it's better for the system or worse. You know, social media because, um, of course, it has given us uh, more opportunity to uh, to uh, um, to enhance uh, the, the progress of uh, the artist. Uh, but but also from what I the little I know about social media, there are some bad things also about them about social media. Um, I think everybody knows uh, some of those bad things. So I think the the system still is the same. You try to look for the people who have uh, that spark, um, that spark of genius, uh, God-given genius. And then what God doesn't put into them right away, that's what we try, we try and work with them. Uh, to complete uh, that thing that God put in them. Uh, 
heavy ba ang explanation ko? Ano? Shadow heavy ba? <laughs> okay lang, sir. Okay lang. Yeah. Okay. Parehas lang eh. Parehas lang. Mm-hmm. Uh, kung minsan nakakatulong eh, yung, ano, yung social media. Kung minsan naman, buisit talaga yung social media. So, <laughs> <laughs> ayun. Agree. Yes, agree, sir. Thank you for that answer. Again, congratulations, everybody. And thank you. Thank you, Rain. You're right. most welcome. Thank you so much, Sir MJ. And now, heading over to our last set of questions, we have Mr. Naz Tabares from Pelicola Mania. Uh, what keeps me motivated, I think, is uh, what I would refer to as um, really my one true purpose here in this world is uh, storytelling. So uh, it's what gets me going every day. Of course, um, aside from uh, the people that motivate me, no, Shempre, my family, si Gabi, my managers, my my um, supporters. Um, one big motivator for me is. Um, you know my urge and my drive to tell uh, stories in different mediums so uh, mapa uh, acting mapa uh, filmmaking mapa photography mapa singing uh, i love um just you know getting a piece of myself and sharing it to the world um i think yun talaga yung uh, nagpapa um Takbo nung, uh, nung drive ko bilang isang artist. Um, hello po, good evening. <laughs> um, I think one of the very first few, um, one of the biggest reasons to why I joined show business is because I look up to my parents very much. And iniidolo ko sila and I grew up watching their movies. And I think na isa sila sa motivations ko. And it's a lesser reason kung bakit um, may inspire ako to work hard because I look up to them so much. And of course, I want to be like them and also uh, make a name for, for myself, just like they did. So, yes, but Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Naz Tabares. And that concludes our list of bloggers to ask their questions. Music